In this tutorial we're going to start looking at a specialized rig for the foot. And this gets a little uh, a little bit more complicated than the rig rigging that we've done so far. Um, so let's launch in. The first thing I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to change the display type of all of these bones. Now I'm in edit mode on our armature here and I'm going to change the display type from octahedral to B bones. And what this will allow me to do is I can actually scale the width of these bones. So if I select all by tapping A, actually let's turn on our shortcut, our uh, keys. If I press Control Alt S, then I can scale the width of these bones and kind of make them a little bit more of a useful width here. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off these axes that we were using to fix the uh, bone rolls and I'm going to turn on the names of the bones just so I can see them a little easier. We're going to zoom in on our foot here, go to a side view, and I need to make some extrusions. We're going to make kind of a, a complicated little uh, mechanism down here and I want the bones that I'm going to extrude to stay parallel with some of the other bones. So to start off with I'm going to select this uh, tip slash base that is sitting at the knee. I'm going to hit shift S and move my cursor to the selection. So click cursor to selected. Then up here I'm going to change my pivot point from a median point to the 3D cursor. And from there I can now select this ankle and I can tap E to extrude and I can tap S to scale this directly away from the 3D cursor and that keeps it perfectly parallel with the shin. And I'm going to rename this bone. I'm going to call this bone shin underscore IK underscore target underscore L. And of course I'll also rename the right side shin underscore IK underscore target underscore R. And again you gotta make sure that these names are identical other than the underscore L and underscore R in order to keep your uh, mirrored features still working. Okay so we've got that one extruded and now I'm going to extrude another bone out from the foot but I need that bone to stay parallel to the foot so I'm going to move my 3D cursor down here to the ankle so select this tip shift S cursor to selected then I'm going to select this tip here and just tap E again and then S to scale that extrusion and just kind of bring that down. Now I'm going to rename this bone and it's going to be heel underscore IK underscore target underscore L. And let's rename the right side as well. Heel IK target R. Now this toe bone is actually a little bit long for what I need so I might as well use the same technique. Let's select this uh, tip here, shift S, cursor to selected. Then I'm just going to scale this toe bone back a little bit about halfway. Um, and from here I'm going to extrude another bone out. And we'll call this one toe underscore IK underscore target underscore L. Oops, I accidentally renamed the right one, so we'll just change that L to an R. And then come over here, toe underscore IK target underscore L. So we've got underscore L underscore R for our toe IK targets. All right, and we've got four more bones to make, two more to extrude, and then we'll do some duplications. So I'm going to select this. Let's go into a wireframe view so I can select this tip in here. Tap E to extrude, and this time we're just going to tap Z 
to extrude that straight up and down in Z. And then we'll do the same thing with this um, tip right here, E to extrude, and then Z to keep that straight up and down. And we'll rename these bones. So this one's going to be control underscore tip underscore, or sorry, tip toe underscore L. And this one's going to be control underscore toes underscore L. Control tip toe underscore R. Okay, so that's all of our extruded bones that we're going to create. And now I'm just going to grab one of these in an orthographic view and duplicate it backwards. So Shift D, and I'm going to set the bottom of this bone, which is not the bottom of the tip, but the actual flat part there. I'm just going to set that right on the ground level. And I'm going to duplicate this bone shift D and then hit escape to leave it in place so I have two bones sitting here in this spot and one of them I'm just going to select one bone tip and move it up in Z GZ and then I'm going to select the other bone and I'm going to scale it really fa really fat so control alt s and just kind of fatten it up there okay and let's rename these bones so the tall one is going to be control underscore heel underscore L. And the short fat one is going to be control underscore foot underscore L. Okay, and that's all the bones we need to make. Now here's where it gets a little complicated. We're going to have to do some creative parenting and unparenting and some creative IK, um, IK uh, bone constraints. And I will leave notes in the video description of what exactly I'm going to do here, but I'll guide you through it. So we're going to clear some parents out. First, uh, we're going to select the Shin IK target, clear the parent, Alt P, clear parent. Then we're going to grab the heel IK target, do the same thing, Alt P, clear parent. Next, we do the same thing for the toe IK target, Alt P, clear parent. Next, we do the same thing for control tiptoe and control toes. And then we're going to do it for control heel and control foot. So we clear the parent on all those with Alt P. And now we're going to do some parenting. So we're going to take our Shin IK target. We're going to select that first since it's the child. And then we're going to second select our heel IK target, control P. And we're going to parent that by, well, keeping the offset. So keep offset and it's parented. Next, we're going to grab our toe IK target, and we're going to parent that to control toes. So shift click and control P, keep the offset. Next, we're going to grab our heel IK target, which is here, and our control toes. Shift click, and we are going, so those are both going to be children in this one, and we are going to parent them to control heel. So control P keep the offset then we're going to take control heel and parent it to control tiptoe control P keep the offset and then we're going to take control tiptoe and parent that ultimately to control foot keep the offset in all instances okay and then we're going to take our control tiptoe here and we're going to move it forward just kind of to where the very tippy front of the toes are, and we're going to rest that on ground level, just like the control foot and control heel. Okay, now it's time to make some IK 
uh, bone constraints. So let's control tab into pose mode. And I am going to take my shin bone and put a bone constraint on it for inverse kinematics. It's going to target the armature. And the bone that it's going to target is the shin IK target. So let's just type shin, shin IK target L. And the chain length that you want there is two. So that's a chain length of two. All right, now we're gonna take our first foot bone here and we're going to target that with an I inverse kinematics um, bone constraint. And again, in the armature, and it's going to target uh, the heel IK target. And the chain length there should be one. And then finally, we're going to grab the toes. And it's going to have an IK constraint. Armature and the bone that we're targeting here is the toes IK target. And the chain length there is one. And that basically does it. So what we have now is we have this situation here where you can grab this shin IK target and you can tip it, you can rotate it, and it will actually rotate forward while leaving the toes on the ground, which is kind of handy. Uh, you've got a toe control, or you can kind of do this foot tappy thing. You can sort of do the same thing with the heel IK target. You can grab the control foot and move the whole thing around, and you can see how that moves. And that gives you a lot more control. So um, in a production environment, we would replace these bones with some widgets, uh, you know, with a rotation widget for the heel IK target and um, that sort of thing and we would place them strategically so that animators can use them but for now that's basically um, how you rig a foot properly so have a good day